Federal election 2022. Healthcare needs and promises according to a new Australian National University poll, reducing the cost of living and fixing the aged care system are major priorities for voters in the 2022 federal election. And thus major parties for the federal election 2022 are tempting voters with lucrative promises regarding health policies which have also gained good public traction. And further to that, several healthcare associations have put forward their demands and needs to be addressed to the plate of both parties. Please subscribe to this channel. I'm Sage for Calkine Media. The aged care sector is looking forward to a workforce partnership supplement. The Aged and Community Services Australia, ACSA, wants more detailed plans from both political parties on strengthening the aged care workforce and retaining and upskilling the existing workforce. It has highlighted the following three major points to be addressed by the new government. A workforce partnership supplement, a minimum wage increase for aged care workers and award wage increases from July of 2022, a pledge to a multidisciplinary workforce by putting allied health needs, assessments and funding models in place by July of 2024. Pharmacy Guild supports commitment for more affordable medicines. The Pharmacy Guild of Australia, the peak body of community pharmacy, is delighted by the commitment made by both major parties to make medicines more affordable. The national president of the Pharmacy Guild of Australia, Professor Trent Toomey said, a bipartisan commitment to address the cost of prescription medicines is a win for patients around the country who have been doing it tough and is a step in the right direction to restoring universal access to the Pharmaceutical Benefits Scheme or PBS. Stephen Mason, CEO of the Australian Patients Association, also said, Our research has found that almost 36% of people believe that prescription medicine is too expensive and 20% of people say it's outside of their regular budget. And similarly, the Cancer Council of Australia has highlighted the points in this area to be addressed by the parties. Funding for national skin cancer prevention, reducing Australia's tobacco usage, reducing the impact of lung cancer, eliminating cervical cancer, access to world-class cancer care, the Coalition's policy for health systems. The Coalition Party has released its policy for supporting Australia's health system with these four major points. And besides these, some of the funding activities highlighted in the policy are as follows. Giving authority to the Health Minister to list medicines recommended by the Pharmaceutical Benefits Advisory Committee. PBAC that do not cost more than 20 million Australian dollars in any of the first four years of its listing. Funding of 35 million Australian dollars to find a cure for type 1 diabetes and bolstering primary care by providing 52.5 million Australian dollars to grow existing general practices for teaching. 40 million Australian dollars for 400 medical internships. And similarly, the Labor Party made pledges related to aged care, which include wage raises, a provision for full-time nurses, a provision for nutritious food and new funding for better support to the aged care sector. Thanks for joining us in this report. If you do like the information, let us know by liking, sharing, commenting on the video below and subscribe to the channel. Press the bell icon, you'll be notified of the recent videos from Calkine, but for more articles, head to the website, it's calkinemedia.com. Stay here for Calkine Media.